Hi guys and welcome back to another episode on this channel. Um, sorry if I'm squinting, it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Cornwall. We're on location, location shooting today and we are about to go through the keyhole and we'll see if you can guess whose house I am in today. And I've got my assistant. Say hello to everybody. I was a fly. I, I thought he was actually saying hello then. Shall we go through the keyhole? <laughs> Come on then. Oh, that didn't work. Hang on. Creek. That's better. Follow me. I'll walk around you. It's okay. So here we are in the dining room of the house and it's uh, it's beautiful in here, it's really, really nice. Um, and straight away, look, we have guitars on display. So um, I've not lost my mind. We have, you know, we do have a guitar player in the, in, in the, um, in the household. Okay, I should explain by the way, that this guitar player is, um, well, is a bit of a collector. I mean, I thought I was a collector, but this guy has got well, he said he lost count over 200 guitars. 200, yes, you heard me right. He's lost count over 200. Okay, let's carry on then. Um, let's, let's go upstairs. Oh, this is a really good book. You should get one of these. Really good. Uh, anyway, um, yes, so we're, 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 in, um, we're in the said player's boudoir. I don't know if we should be in here, Cook, should we? Yeah, we're in the said player's boudoir, and as you can see, wow, I mean, it, I thought I was crazy for sleeping with my guitar, um, but this guy sleeps with 50? I think he's got a problem. Well, that's funny. Yeah, that's probably him. So we're in another part of the um, of the estate of this uh, of this guitar player. Um, as you can see, there's even more guitars in here. I think I counted. I think I counted about fifty or sixty guitars in here, and there are many, many more guitars, um, all in cases, in more outbuildings, in in, in this um, in this guitar collector's collection. There are some really nice instruments. A lot of them are from the 50s and 60s, um, a few from the 80s, but, oh, blimey, I'll tell you what. It's very exciting, isn't it, Cookie? Cook, should we go meet the guy? Let's go meet him. Come on then, let's go meet. I'm looking for Guy McKenzie, the guitar player. You found him, Mr. Walker. This is him. But I can't play guitar. I've never been able to play guitar, but I have always tried to play the drums. <laughs> So Guy, we've established that you're not a guitar player, you're actually a drummer. Um, 
this is quite odd because I normally get interviewed and things like that. So I'm I'm, I'm being the interview interviewer, which is uh, which is really cool. And thanks for having us in your house. Um, it's it's brilliant. We've uh, well, I've certainly enjoyed myself and Cookie has as well. <laughs> but what 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 made you start collecting guitars, guy? If you're not a guitar player. Well, I, th I think probably it goes back to the 70s when we, when I was in bands and we used to go and guitar watch, you know. We'd go and watch other bands and the sort of guitars they were using. And at that time, the guitarists were playing sort of Antorias and Pops, uh, inexpensive boxes, for yeah. example. And we always wanted to try and get them up to Fenders because that was the big thing. Yeah. And it was sort of guitar watching that got me interested. And then it's the history of rock and roll. I mean, these guitars are the history of rock and roll. Yeah. And the shapes and the styles, and they all tell their own stories. Yeah. And each, a lot of my guitars have got a story. And as, as you know, Phil, you, you've sat politely and listened to me for about an hour <laughs> while I rabbited on, warning you that you could have another nine hours at no extra charge. But Free. You, <laughs> you, you, you actually... Um, I pointed out that you had to leave soon, so we weren't able to do Yeah, we, that. we need to leave next week, so <laughs> yeah, okay. um, we, we've, got, we, we've got to wrap it up soon, you know, we've only got another week left to do this. But, uh, oh, that, that's, that's brilliant. I mean, you know, all, all these guitars are kind of, they can be forgotten about, can't they? You know, chucked in a, I don't know, somebody's basement and, you know, and, I mean, you've got how many now? Well... I, I lost, I sort of kept count up till about 200 and we're, we're somewhere between 200 and 250 but probably oh, yeah. nearer 200 than 250. But you're working on that aren't you? I, I'm working on it. I, I can never, I always keep my eye on the small ads, particularly <laughs> Facebook ads, um, eBay, whatever. And if there's something I, I like the look of and the price is right and the price has to be right then I'm inclined to go for it. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. Now you've got um you've got a YouTube channel as well, so we're gonna put the yeah. um just there yeah. is about where we're gonna put it. So um do do check out Guy's YouTube channel um because there's loads of stuff on there. There's loads of guitars and, and some really good guitar players on there as well. Uh, and you got to uh, you got to meet Chris Barris as well, didn't you? I did. I managed to interview him and I, I persuaded him in, in between getting on with his gym to play a couple of my guitars yeah. and, um, and in fact one of my guitars and one of his to be absolutely correct he played my Gibson Victory which is a favourite of mine mm. and he also played his cigar box guitar Fantastic. but what, what, a, what a nice guy and what a, what a great guitarist too I saw him um, it, actually I think it's on this YouTube channel somewhere mm. uh, a video um, mm when I was um, doing some demo work for Yamaha and Line 6. Yeah. It was at Manson's, um, oh, yeah. at the Corn Exchange in Exeter. Yeah. They had the, their, their guitar festival there. Mm -hmm. And I saw the Chris Barrows band for the first time and that guy blew me away. His whole band did, they were amazing. He was a really great player. Yeah, we saw him in Truro. We yeah. went to a venue we'd never been before and it was absolutely jam solid and nobody was sitting down. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we ended up standing right next to the sound engineers because that was the only place that we could get in. And probably the best sound. It was. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. It was brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Well, enough chit chat. We yeah. we need to um, we need to maybe talk about some of the guitars and some of your favourites and right. um I'm probably gonna demo uh, some of Guy's guitars mm -hmm. uh, in separate videos. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out on that um, in, in future videos. Because uh, we there's a couple of favourites there I want to play as well yeah. out of Guy's collection, but um, we'll uh, we'll we'll now demo a couple of guitars, a couple of your favourite guitars in, in your collection, if that's all right. Absolutely fine. You're Let's very welcome. Do it. Yeah.
more switches on knobs on this guitar than uh, than I don't know what to do with. And in fact, I don't know what they all do. And I've got a feeling Guy doesn't know either. <laughs> Tell us about this guitar, Guy. And oh, by the way, if anybody can hear scratching and howling and dogs, there's, there's I mean, have you got 50 dogs here or something? Getting on for that number, yeah. Getting on for around 50 dogs here. Yeah. No, no, it's not that many, but it's quite a lot. <laughs> and it's, sorry, Guy, let's carry on. <laughs> it's, um, it's one of my favourite guitars, without question. Mm. It's a 1977 Burns Mirage. Uh, one of probably about 20 or so made um, and this one differs from any other Mirage you come across because it's got what one guitar expert called the wrong knobs but they've been replaced and it's got a wrong screw in the tailpiece okay. and one of the switches is wrong so he said somebody has changed them okay. and another expert said that it's um, it's a it's a, a one that was built a pre-production and neither of them are right actually. This, this guitar was built as Burns UK company was literally going out of business and it was bought by somebody called Terry Dobson who, who was a guitarist with Black Lace and probably you remember Agadu and uh, he bought a number of them literally as the company was going bankrupt before the receivers came in and they finished them off with whatever they had at the time to be able to get the guitar out of the out of the factory and some cash in and i love it i think mm. it's a fabulous looking guitar and i have been offered a, a huge amount of money by an american collector but i i won't ever part with it because it's just one of my favorite guitars and it really encapsulates the story of burns fabulous engineering fabulous styling, possibly over-engineering, but also financial disaster. <laughs> so there you go, it's not for sale. <laughs>guy is one of my favorites in your collection purely because it sparkles <laughs> tell us a bit about this one well my brother found it for me in a in a pawn shop a p-a-w-n shop in the states oh, okay. and he contacted me and said do you, would you like me to get it for you and i said yes and uh, he sent it over because he, he lives in or just outside la um it, it's interesting it's styled as you can see on the burns bison mm. Uh, and by the way, Phil, you can see I've got my hands raised w well above my uh, feet because I, I can see Cookie there looking yeah. rather hungrily at them. Um, what a lot of people don't realise, because a lot of people obviously... Mm. Well, I know some of you subscribe to my channel purely for my dog. <laughs> well, thanks anyway, yeah. yeah. But um, a lot of people don't know Cookie's a rescue dog. I should do an episode on the dog, shouldn't I, really? Definitely. He's a rescue dog. He was five when we got him. We've had him uh, five years, so he's mm. ten now. Mm. And um, he he was terrified of people when we got him, and he won't actually let strangers touch him. So anybody that hasn't mm. known him for at least five years, <laughs> he, he 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 goes a little bit crazy if mm. um, if any strangers try to touch him. So that's why guys hiding his um, digits right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we digress. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what, one of the things I like about it is is the the name Telestar. Mm -hmm. I mean, let, let's be honest. In the 60s, every guitarist wanted to be a Telestar, and what a great name for a guitar. Yeah. And I love the styling, it's similar to a, a Burns Bison, and it's just, just a bit of a guitar history from a, a decade that's long gone now. You know what, I should have played on it, don't you? Mm. I should have played this, mm. Are you ready? <laughs>
Star, not Terry yeah. Star, but that that was close. Cool. And let this go on record on film, guy. If yeah. you ever decide, which I don't think he ever will, yeah. you want to get rid of this guitar, mm -hmm. I'm first in line for it. Okay. So that's on record, but I'm probably ain't ever going to get rid of it. So I'll just have to come to Cornwall and visit it. <laughs> Phil, you'll be very welcome. You're welcome any time, as is Jamie, and of course Cookie, as long as I remember not to stroke her. <laughs> <laughs>
Told you I was going to finish with something special. This is the Blue Moon guitar. The Blue Moon. Mm. Guy, what's a Blue Moon guitar? Well, it, it's it's a great story. And this this guitar was commissioned for the band Shawadi Wadi in 1980 for the launch of their version of the oldie Blue Moon. Mm. It was built by legendary guitar guitar builder Brian Eastwood of Rochdale, and uh, he was commissioned to build something which would fit in with the, the, the Blue Moon song um, and he was given three weeks to do it. Well the first week he scratched his head and didn't know what to do but luckily they had a friend who was a graphic, who was a, a designer, an artist and his wife was a graphic artist as well and they put this together literally in a matter of days but of course the, the time schedule was cut short because the, ch the, r the number charted early and Top of the Pops wanted it in the studio and so it was literally delivered to the Top of the Pops studio with the paint drying in 1980 and of course it's, it's been featured several times on YouTube, on television, mm -hmm. it's a famous guitar and it, it's a fabulous, I, I think it's the, the most remarkable custom built guitar that's ever been built, I've never seen anything that I liked more it, it, or thought more of. It's certainly something special, isn't it? It, it really is. And I, I remember watching Shawadi. It was in, eight, in 1980, I was five. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit older. <laughs> Six? So, <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I think I vaguely remember mm -hmm. this guitar. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's been in a book as well, hasn't it? It's been in many books. It's um, been featured many times. It's it's. Um, it's obviously in the Ultimate Guitar book, mm. it's in several other books, um, um, some of them are on my shelves. Um, it's been featured on television um, several times mm -hmm. and there are a number of videos on YouTube featuring the Blue Moon guitar. And hopefully Phil, with your um, expertise, <laughs> we'll have another one soon. Another one, um, yeah, yeah, this, this is going on YouTube, don't worry about that. This is, it's an incredible guitar, it's funny because I, I have seen it in many books, mm -hmm. like you say, um, and it's, it's funny because guitars, mm -hmm. some people when they meet famous people, uh, you know, they go a little bit, oh, you yeah. know, starstruck and they can't speak to them, well, that did happen when I met Albert Lee, to be mm -hmm. fair, mm -hmm. with me, but anyway, that's another story. It but happened to me when I met you, Phil. <laughs> 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 he went, the guy wasn't speechless, he went, hello? <laughs> uh, oh, never heard of him. <laughs> never heard of her. <laughs> so, no, and I'm a bit like that with guitars. When, yeah. Whenever I see a, a guitar mm. that's, you know, had a lot of press mm. or, mm. you know, it's been in books or famous people have played them, mm. uh, and, you know, th the guitar to me is more famous than the person. And mm. it's really, it's it's quite an honour to be holding this. Although I have, I'm, I'm being very careful how I sit because if you look, it's got some feet. Mm. And you've got to be really careful. You don't want to get excited and have those things um, moving around because it, it could it could catch you in a place that. <coughs> <laughs> Say no more, Phil. I, I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! Yeah. Well, guy, it, it's been a real pleasure coming down here today. It really has. Um, I know you've seen the guitar show, um, and we did a, a bit of a guitar video. Um, in Exeter, didn't we, about yeah. two years ago. Mm. So to actually come to Cornwall, mm. um, have a bit of a break mm -hmm. as well, it's, it's lovely down there, you've got a lovely home, you've been very hospitable, yeah. and um, Sally, your cheese is amazing. <laughs> I really like your still <laughs> cheese, thank you, Sally. <laughs> Phil, it's been great to see you. We're looking forward, the only objection I have yeah. is that the story of Guitar Heroes is not coming to Cornwall till next year. And uh, mm. I've been waiting for it to come this year, but please, will you, will you bring the show back as soon as you can? Absolutely, right. absolutely, yeah, we uh, we don't play Cornwall enough, so no. um, we'll, no. yeah, we'll get on with that, we need to play in Cornwall. Yeah. But, uh, Guy? Lovely to see you, Phil. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for your time, and thank you for coming all this way. No, brilliant, it's brilliant. Don't forget to like and subscribe, yeah. hit that thumbs button. Yeah thumbs up button don't hit that one hit that one okay yeah. and um, check out guys YouTube channel as well and you're also on Facebook as yeah. well aren't you so uh, the guitar collection so yeah just and under my personal name Guy McKenzie not relax the drummers here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time guys
<laughs> Sorry. Um, this 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 is a guitar. This is based on an AK forty seven. Um, it's 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 by Hondo, and I've never seen anything like it. And the really cool thing about this one is, look, the selector switch is the trigger. That's amazing. And do you know what? Plays really well for a gun. Thanks very much, Guy. It's a pleasure, Phil. Great to see you. Safe journey home. Yep, yeah, see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bless you. Goodbye. Take care. Mm.